Hi, Paula here with eXp Realty. This video, I'm going to focus on downsizing in the long term. So this isn't for an emergency downsizing. I do have a video on that that you can watch. But this one is on planning and the psychological um, expectations that you should have on yourself. Downsizing, unlike buying your first home, isn't necessarily the happiest occasion. It can be, especially if you do it early and you get excited about the process. But often it's not. You're um, leaving a home that means a lot to you. You've lived there for decades and your memories are all in there. You've actually probably, if you're like most um, empty nesters, have filled every single room and nook and cranny of your home with everything that means a lot to you. So taking that 3,000 square foot home and downsizing it into a small apartment is not going to be possible without a lot of work and a lot of emotional implications. Know that it's it, it can be an exciting process. Don't take it like I'm too old to live in my home. Take it as in, I've got a lot of years left. How do I want to live these in the most exciting and most memorable way? Start early. This is my best tip for you. It's not something that most of us can avoid. Downsizing is pretty much inevitable, especially in expensive real estate markets like Vancouver. A home is just going to become too expensive over time to keep maintaining and stay living in forever and ever. So start early and start thinking about, okay, what do I want this next stage of my life to be? And this next stage for most of us is actually one third of our life or half of our adulthood life. So it's a lot of time. So pick it carefully. Do you want to live near family? Do you want to live in the suburbs? Do you want to live in the country? Do you want to live urban? Do you want to live in a golf community where there's more sunshine? There's lots to pick here. Take your time, look at the options and make your decisions with patience and with a lot of understanding. As I mentioned in my other video, your first step is going to be the depersonalization. Um, so please just go to my other video to learn a little bit more about that. In this video, I just want to focus a little bit more on the emotional process of downsizing. Everybody's going to have a different process through this. It, often in couples, one couple thinks it's going to take no time at all to get it done, while the other one thinks it's going to take way too long. The reality is the truth is somewhere in between. But be ready for some of this conflict that's going to happen because it's all stressful decisions. In addition, some things that mean a lot to one couple or one family member may not mean a lot to others. And I'm talking about maybe old trophies or family heirlooms or large furniture that no longer fits in your average apartment or home. Something that uh, some of my clients have done is make photo albums of things that they're getting rid of that meant a lot to them, but they can't take with them. That's a great idea. And also start involving your kids, give, uh, bring them in, give them the things that you've been holding on to that they never picked up and let them deal with how they want to take that on. And don't expect any of this process to be easy or something you want to do. You love your home. The last thing you want to do is leave your home, but also consider the, the other side of that. Do you want all of this to be chosen for you? And do you want to be plunked somewhere that you may have not picked for yourself? So do it while you're still young and healthy enough to decide what this next stage of your life is going to be. This is just a short little video to introduce you, but if you liked it, kindly like it below and watch some of my other videos with tips on how to get ready for downsizing.